Hello everybody. Today I want to share about subject core English. And the topic is auxiliary verb to have. So auxiliary verb we have three: to have, to do, to be. So to be, to do, to have. Now um, I raise. I raise to have. Question today or, or to, to show today. So the content is contents. You have six to present or to show today. You have definition using of have, past form with have, passive forms. Passive form, contracted form of the auxiliary verb have, negative form of the auxiliary verb have. Okay, now we go to detail about the all this content. Number one, definition have. Have if one of the three, the three auxiliary verb is in in English to be, to do, and to have. Again, have is one of the three auxiliary verb in English. To be, to do, and to have. The two using of have. The verb have is used as an auxiliary to form the present perfect and past perfect forms of other verbs. To have or to, the verb have is used as an auxiliary to form the present perfect and past perfect forms of other verbs. Number three, past form with have. We have simple verb walk, present perfect, present perfect, present perfect progressive, past perfect progressive. Progressive this means that continuous. Now first, now second, third, and plural. I have walk. You have walk. He, she, it walk. Plural. We, you, they have walk. He, she, it has walk. You have walk. Okay. I have walk, you have walk, he it has walk, he they had walk. For present perfect progressive. I have been walking. You have been walking. He or she have walk have been walking. Where you they have been walking. Past perfect progressive. I have been walking. You had been walking. He or she had been walking. We had been walking. Okay, can you? And the tense and the tense can be formed. Including tense with modal auxiliary. Example I will have walked 10 miles today. I will have walked 10 miles today. I could have been walking. They must have been walking for 10 hours. Example, I, ha I will have walked 10 miles.
miles today. I could have been walking. They must have been walking for ten hours. So you must remember, at the tense can be formed in closed tense with modal auxiliary like will, could, and must. Passive forms. Verb form using the auxiliary half can also be put into the passive. Same for verb take. Present perfect passive. Past perfect plus passive. First singular and third singular. I have been taken. I have been taken. He, she has been taken. He, she had been taken. Other auxiliary, uh, other tense can be formed, including tense with modal auxiliaries. Example, you could have been seriously injured. You could have been seriously injured. They must have been dreaming. They must have been dreaming. Okay, could and must is auxiliary verb. And uh, no, 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 is modal verb. Auxiliary verb, have, have. Contracted form of the auxiliary verb have. As an auxiliary, have or has, have, has, and had are frequently contracted to the form VA short form. Foster VA, Foster S, and Foster B. When this is possible, i.e. after pronoun but it depends on the type of English use in written English in written English con contracted Form are possible but unusual after pronoun subjects contracted form are not used after noun subjects. Again, as an auxiliary have had and had of uh, uh, frequently contracted to the form a foster V, foster S, and a foster D. When this is possible, example after pronoun. But it depends on the type of English used. In written English, contracted forms are possible, but unusual. After pronoun subjects, contracted form are, are not used after, after noun subjects. In rural or, sp or spoken English, contracted form are normal but not essential after pronoun subjects. Even in formal speech, even the Queen of England, England would be likely to say, I've 
had a good day rather than I have had a good day. However, after the noun, after noun subjects, contracted forms, maybe had, maybe heard, even if they would be, they would not be written. For example, a newspaper, a newspaper journalist would write. The Prime Minister has appointed a new team, but a, but a TV journalist would say the, the Prime Minister has appointed a new team. New team. Yeah, it's the short form. It's a little, little long form. Negative form of the auxiliary verb have. The standard negative form of the auxiliary have has and have uh, ha, have one, have one, and hasn't. And hadn't. Example: I haven't. I haven't finished my lunch. I haven't finished my lunch. Take care. Form using do, don't have, doesn't have, etc. And never use as. Negative form of the auxiliary verb have, only of the main verb have. See above. Take care. Form your form using do. Don't have, doesn't have, etc. And never use as negative form of the auxiliary verb have only of the main verb have see above regional variant a speaker of England will say I haven't seen it but I hadn't told you a speaker of England say will say, I have seen it, I haven't seen it, but I hadn't told you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. But a speaker of Scotland would be likely to say, I've not seen it, but I've not told you. Or even I wanna, I have na seen it, but I had a. <coughs> told you. And also note the the word end. A popular alternative. To haven't or hasn't, as used in the Rolling Stones classic hit, classic hit, I ain't got no certification. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and open notifications to get more videos thank you and good luck for you bye bye